Hello and welcome to another commentary. Tonight we'll be doing something different from my usual commentaries and instead be taking a look at a brand new trailer for the new Twilight movie, Breaking Dawn. Yes, it seems to be that there is a brand new Twilight movie coming out in November and I'm jumping for joy because of it. But does the trailer actually give us what we want? Does it actually show what we need and what we need to know about the film? Or is it something that gives us suspense and makes us want to see the film much more? Well, really, I don't really give a shit about Twilight, but let's find out anyway. This is the Breaking Dawn trailer. Oh, one thing before we begin. I just want to clarify this. If you like Twilight for the books or the films, that's fine. That's your opinion, and I have nothing against people liking something for their own reasons. I don't, however, respect people who think that other people's opinions are incorrect and need to bitch about it and make countless of videos about it, as we've seen by the people we call twitards. Also, the jokes that I'm going to make are just for humour. I mean, my other commentaries are the same, really. It's just me making fun of the video whilst possibly giving some constructive criticism. Though this is a trailer, so I might not be giving as much as possible. <gasps> Yay. Cause you know, they didn't have anything better to work on. Ah yes, it's that one person walking down a corridor on their own, reaching some doors and then they magically open for them. DRAMATIC BUT CLICHE! Dear Tommy Wiseau, Though your acting was pretty crap, people actually like the room, but not in the way that you intended. Yours truly, the Welsh arsehole. I love the way that she walks. I've never actually seen someone walk like that. I mean, even I don't walk like that. Most of the time. The rapture will truly happen on that day. I know that May 21st was a bit of an error, but that was a miscalculation. Jake! Really? Did you need to take off your shirt in the middle of the rain? I mean, yeah, I love rain, but I'll never take my shirt off in the middle of it. Oh wait, hang on, this is fan service. Take up. Oh my goodness, he's turned into a werewolf! Chromatic cut to black. Oh my goodness, Bella and Edward are finally getting married! Oh, fangasm! One wedding's far enough for me, darling. I've already seen Princey get wed. From the worldwide bestseller and mostly given negative feedback by critics. No measure of time with you will be long enough. Cause you know, in Brazil we have to show that statue of Jesus. But we'll start with forever. Let's all get some fan service. Let's all get some fan service. Let's all get some fan service and see Bella and Edward have sex. Yes, because you haven't already shown us they fucked each other already. Forever is only the beginning? Isn't it the end is only the beginning? The dramatic but cliche look over the shoulder, because you'll never know when she'll be behind you. Shit happens once again, dramaticness, and then suddenly cut to black. Because you know we haven't used that cliche already. That's impossible. Oh my 
my god, Bella is pregnant. Oh my god, squeal, fangasm. I know this is just fan service, but still squealing like a little fan girl. Wait a minute. The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1? Are you telling me that they're going to do the exact same thing as Harry Potter did and make two films for one book? Alright, let me explain something. Firstly, this is basically ripping off the idea that the Harry Potter creators did. Secondly, what is there to build up for a second part? The first part of the final Harry Potter book actually did have something to build up from because it was basically them looking for the stuff they need to fight Voldemort with which will happen in the second part. What has Breaking Dawn got to build up? Because we already know that Bella and Edward are going to get married and we already know that Bella is probably pregnant. What are we going to see in the second part? Her going through her little phases or something like that? Really this is just trying to keep the saga running because you know you don't want people to stop buying your products and stuff like that so you have to go on for another year so that next year you can sell more twilight shit that's all it is really this didn't really call for a second part all right so now it's time for my conclusion Really, all this looks like it's going to be is a bunch of cliches and fan service. It's going to bring nothing new to the table. But this is Twilight we're talking about. So, if you're not a big fan of Twilight, then I don't recommend this film. However, if you are a fan of Twilight and you love the Edward and Bella relationship, I highly recommend this film for you. And with that being said, this is Ellen Entertainment beating down bad movies everywhere. No wait, wrong catchphrase. I'm signing out and I'm out of here. Peace all.